I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the 2024 National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Force. The purpose is to practice decision making through the Charleston after pre-selecting categories from the card. The reason this is a good exercise is it forces you to play hands that you normally would not consider. It's also a good exercise if you ever want to play competitively because many times they'll pre-select categories and whoever wins the first hand in a category will win a prize. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. When We're going to do this exercise three times and we're going to force hands in consecutive run, odds, and three, six, nine. This will be interesting because three, six, nine shares tiles with odds. Threes, nines. Let's see what we can do. I'll create a hand for dealer then non-dealer and then dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14, and I'll create a mock Charleston for each one. We have a joker, flower, east, west, pair east, white, red dragon, eight, nine in bams, three, five, six, seven in dots, and a nine crack. If these were your tiles, which of these categories would you force and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would not make a choice yet. I would whittle out the negative space. In Mahjong, that means the tiles you know you don't need east west winds are not used in any of those categories dragons are used we have five through nine one three so maybe we can let a three go with a wind and then we need to let something here go we have five six seven eight nine flower dragons i think i would let the dragons go Focus on number tiles. There's a five and a seven. We picked up a pair of white dragons. We have five, seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven, nine, five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine. Maybe we could use this dragon let's oh where's my card there is an offsuit dragon hand under odds it would be like let's see bams and cracks with this offsuit dragon pair second hand from the bottom odds five seven bam seven nine crack five seven bam singles seven nine crack dragon and a flower pair no pair pair pong pong kong no flower so with the dragon here we could also maybe do consecutive run right here consecutive run five six seven dragon we would need a four or an eight either way we did not use those five, seven, five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine. All right, well, let's just see what happens. 
Let's pass these. A nine and an eight. We just gave that up. There's a one and an east. Five, seven, nine, nine. Okay, let's let these go. No keepers. Dragon, five, nine. Let's see here. That's a little bit risky. Since we have a nine crack pair, let's mitigate the risk. Nine dot. Okay, here's a two four west. Five seven nine. Like numbers with nines. Hmm. Oh, two four and one suit. There's a potential year hand, but let's see here. Five seven. I think I would mitigate the risk again a little bit there. Let it let the nine dot go. Let's see, nine dot, five, seven, nine. Wait a minute. That is a hand right there. Five seven nine dragon. Third hand down. Super weak though. All right, let's risk it. Okay, no keepers, no keepers. There's some 369 in here, but it's not gelling. No keepers, I would just discard those. No keepers, we have three discards and a couple of hands in here five seven nine dragon with a flower or we could do five seven bam gap hand five seven seven nine dragon so three discards in two hands for odds if you would have done something differently write it in the comment section below with pull one Executive run in 369 there. We have a challenge because we have a gap for 369, no six. We have a pair of nines there. Most of our tiles are 234. 234. There is a lot to work with, or 345. I would not pass like numbers though. I think what I would do. Let's see, two, three, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, three, four, three, four, five. I think what I would do is let a two go and a five with a nine and play consecutive run. Okay, let's see. Three, multiple. Let's see, yeah, I would keep going. Focus on number tiles. Three, one. Here's a six and a one. Okay, so now, now we have three, six, nine in here, but three dot pung could be useful with consecutive tiles too. Let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, three, all right, let's just see what happens here. Consecutive run, five dot, that's not helpful. All right, we're gonna keep going. There we go, here we go. Two bam, three dot, four crack. Whoa, tiles to pass. Okay, let's see, that's gonna be a bit risky. Two, three, four. So let's pass, let's say, these three. 
no keepers. Let's see here. I think what I would do is pass these three. We do have some potential for a year hand, but that's not a winner. We want to win a category here. Here's a here's a flower. I would pass three and keep going. So we have three discards or four, four discards and a hand with no gaps. Two, three, four, Mixu Kongs. If you would have done something differently here, write it in the comment section below with pull two. Those can go. We have to force three, six, nine. So that's gonna make this easy. We're just gonna keep dragons, three, sixes, and nines. So let's break these out. Let's say two, seven. Here we go. Let's see if we can get three, six, nine. Nine. And we're just gonna hoard. Okay, so let's do the eight with a five and then an east. No keepers. No keepers. Let's do the north with an eight and a one. No keepers. Wins. Okay, so let's do Oh, let's break out these fives. There's a six. South eight, one. A three. Nice. Okay, and oh, like numbers. There's a five, bam. I would not pass like numbers. We have three, six, nine, lots of ways, pair, pair. I would pass two. Actually, with these tiles, I think we can let the dragon go. We have a pretty good representation of 369 here, a couple of ways. No keepers, three discards with joker bait and a good strong representation. We could maybe do the first hand, 369, pung, pung, pong, pong, 3669. Or three six six nine. Let's see here. We could also maybe do three six nine with sixes in the middle, right here. Three nine sixes. There's also the concealed hand three six three six nine. Three six three six nine. Lots of ways we could do this. Three, six, nine. If you would have done something differently here, write it in the comment section below the video with pull three. When you get your dealt hand, arrange the tiles like you normally would, and then look at whatever's been pre-selected. Target the tiles that can be used in those pre-selected hands or categories, and then gather. Do your best to force a hand so that you could win a prize, or build your skills. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.